Hello, you people. This is Mark. If you haven't watched the first episode of the first conditional, I suggest watching it first before you watch this one. If you have watched it, then you are in the right place. Let's look at the examples then. I'm going to buy a new TV next month if I earn enough. If you see her over the weekend, tell her I say hello. If you can get me a ticket, I'll go to the concert with you. You can open the window if you're hot. Before you start a new job, you should learn more about it. Until I know what's really happening, I won't tell them. In this lesson, we're going to look at, again, the first conditional. But this time, we're going to focus on other versions of the first conditional. So stay tuned! So this is the second episode of the first conditional. Why did I make two episodes? You will see now. We have six other forms or variations of the first conditional. But what is a first conditional? A first conditional sentence is when you want to talk about a result that would, could happen if a condition happens first. You know that in a conditional sentence we need the condition and the result, or the result and the condition. Usually this is the formula. If, when, as soon as, plus subject, plus present simple, in the condition part of the sentence. And the result, we have subject, then we have will, and then the infinitive. Let me remind you that there are a lot of variations, and in this lesson we're going to actually talk about them. So the first one, let's look at the formula, if, as soon as, when, etc., plus subject, plus present simple. The second part, which is the result, we have the subject plus going to plus infinitive. So we don't need will. We replace it with going to. Let's look at the examples. I'm going to buy a new TV next month if I earn enough. If I earn enough money, I mean. So I could even say, if I earn enough money, I'm going to buy a new TV next month. Another example with going to, if you don't give that back, she's going to call the police. So we replaced will with going to. Now, the second variation of the first conditional, if, as soon as, when, etc., plus subject, plus present simple, and then for the result part of the sentence as inf imperative. The first part is the condition in this case. If you see her over the weekend, say hello. Say hello would be the imperative. We need just the imperative because the, the imperative doesn't have a subject. Don't allow your children to go out. As you can see, this is a negative imperative. So, don't allow, so do not plus the verb, infinitive, don't allow your children to go out, and then the condition part would be if they don't eat all their lunch. Don't allow your children to go out if they don't eat all their lunch. The, sec the third variation of the first conditional, if, as soon as, when, etc., plus subject, plus can, plus the verb, and then we have subject, plus will, plus infinitive. The examples. If you can get me a ticket, I'll go to the concert with you. Or, another example, if he can speak English well, he'll get the job. So, let's look at three other variations now. Are you ready for the second part? Great! If, when, as soon as, plus subject, plus present simple. The second part, which is the result, subject, plus may or might, plus verb, 
when you want to talk about possible futures. In the examples here, you may open the window if you're hot. Or if you ask him, he might invite you to his party too. So might here in the result and may here in the result. Okay, just to um, talk about a possible future. So another variation would be if, when, as soon as, before, plus subject, plus present simple in the condition, and then the variation here would be subject plus should plus verb. When do we use this variation? When you want to give advice. So, for example, before you start a new job, you should learn more about it. Or, if he likes watching movies, he should watch them in English. So, advice. The sixth variation, or in this case a reminder for you, is that we don't only use if in the condition part of the sentence, of the first conditional. We use also before, until, as soon as, etc. Let's take a look at my two last examples. Until I know what's really happening, I won't tell them. Or, she'll call you as soon as she gets home. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we talked about the first conditional. We had six variations of the first conditional. We use the first conditional if you want to talk about result that could happen if the condition happens first. Let me remind you that we use the formula if, when, as soon as, before, until, plus subject, plus the present simple in the condition. And in the result, we use subject plus may, might, imperative to, should, etc. plus maybe a verb. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all your comments, all your examples and your suggestions. If you have a new sentence for this type of first conditional, please type it under this video. Don't forget to share the video, please. It's really important. And uh, having said that, have a nice weekend and I see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.